let us look at few examples of uh, maxima minima functions of several variables in the last uh, very basic recording uh, i think we did this right necessary and sufficient conditions for maxima minima so i gave you the the theoretical foundation for that now let me just do one or two examples based on that. so if you have not seen that recording please do that and let me reiterate this these are several very basic videos for micro and this is not the complete set of the mathematical economics videos because uh, this is just to build up your basic foundation for the math for mathematics which is going to be used in micro that's it right so on, i'm only doing that much which is going to be used in my part of micro anyways so let's have a let's have a look at uh, one of the example so we have z equals to uh, fxy which is 10x plus 10y plus xy minus x square minus y square we need to find out the critical point first so for that we need to differentiate this z with respect to x and z with respect to y so whenever you find out the partial derivative i have told you earlier also so if i am differentiating this with respect to x any other variable apart from x is going to be treated as a constant when i'll be differentiating this with respect to y any other variable apart from y is going to be treated as a constant so del z by del x is going to be 10 plus y minus 2x equals to 0 and del z by del y is 10 plus x minus 2y equals to 0 so we can uh, we can just straight away write this as from here we can write y is equal to 2x minus 10 that is from 1 and I can substitute this y equals to 2x minus 10 in the second equation. So it is 2x 10 plus x minus 2 in place of y, I can write 2x minus 10 equals to 0. So it is uh, 10 plus x minus 4x, that is 3x, your plus 20 equals to 0. So 30 equals to 3x. x equals to 10 x equals to 10 right and uh, you will have what you will have uh, the moment you have x with you you can find out y going to 10 minus 10 that is going to be 10 that is going to be 10 so now in order to check whether these critical point which you have got x is 10 and y is 10 is that a a max or a min so i need to find out uh, so can i write the rules for the maximum minima first so let me just write the rules for maximum minima first rules for maximum minima just just one more time and very briefly so for maxima the rule is that you should have fxx less than zero, fyy less than zero, and uh, fxx into fyy minus fxy into fyx greater than zero. So, what is fxx? This is the partial derivative of x, del z by del x. And you differentiate this del z by del x again with respect to x. So you what you get is fxx. This we have done in the earlier record. You differentiate del z by del x now with respect to y, you get fxy, and so on and so forth. Similarly, you differentiate del z by del y with respect to y, you get fyy. You differentiate del z by del y with respect to x, you get fyx, and so on. Right. Similarly, for minima, the rule is 
for minima rule is fxx greater than zero. If y y greater than zero, fxx f y y minus fxy f y x greater than zero, right? So if this is less than zero, then uh, this is not the case of maxima minima. This is the case of a saddle point. So I'm writing this point here. Otherwise, we have a saddle point. So in case if these two conditions are not met. So you will say otherwise we have a saddle point. Right. So saddle point is a point uh, which is a stationary point. So there your del z by del x is equal to zero and del z by del y equal to zero. But still it is not the extremum. It is still not maxima or minima. Right, so that is a style that is a saddle point. So in our example, so let me just write this again. Your fx is what is 10 plus y minus 2x equals to 0. So what is fxx? That is minus 2. Right, you differentiate this with respect to x again. What is fxy? You differentiate this guy, fx with respect to y, that is one. Similarly, fy you have already found out. What is that? 10 plus x minus 2y equals to zero. What is fyy? That is minus two. What is fyx? You differentiate this with respect to x again, that is one, right? So what do you have? So can you just check? I think this looks like maxima. Why? Because your fxx is positive. Mm -hmm. So can I write this thing here? fxx is, uh, sorry, sorry. fxx is negative. Right? fyy is also negative. Okay, so these two conditions are met now. What is fxxx X, FX, X into fyy? Minus two into minus two minus what is fxy into fyx one into one so that is four minus one that is three that is greater than zero so this condition is met so the stationary point which you have got the critical point which you have got that was uh, 10 10 that is maximum that is a point of maximum so you have a maxima out here right you can look at one more example. So example two says you have fxy equals to x square minus two xy minus y square minus 12 x plus 16 y. Right. So let us try to locate the critical points first. So you differentiate this with respect to x, then with respect to y, put it equal to zero. Del f by del x. So when you differentiate f with respect to x, so only x is a variable. Everything else is a constant. So y is a constant out there. So it is what? 2x minus 2y minus 12 equals to zero. So from here, what do you have? You have uh, x minus y equals to 6. Oh, have I done? Yeah, x minus y equals to 6. Then del f by del y is what? You differentiate this f with respect to y. So th this becomes what? Minus 2x minus 2y plus 16 equals to 0. So you have what? Minus x minus y equals to minus 8 or x plus y equals to x from the second expression. So from here, what do you have? Your uh, x minus 6 equals to y. So wherever y is, just put x minus 6. So you have what? 2x equals to 14. 
x equals to 7. So the moment you have x equals to 7, your y is what? x minus 6. So it's just 7 minus 6, that is 1. So critical point is what? x is 7, y is 1. So let us try to find out what is, uh, whether it is a point of maxima, a point of minima, or a saddle point. What is del 2 f by del x2? So differentiate this thing with respect to x again. So this thing comes out to be 2, okay. Del 2 f by del y2, differentiate this thing with respect to y again. This comes out to be minus 2. Then del 2 f, differentiate this thing with respect to y del 2 f by uh, your del by del x right so this thing comes out to be minus 2 right this thing comes out to be minus 2 or you could have also calculated this guy del differentiate del f by del y with respect to x so what i'm saying is this with respect to x. So you're differentiating this thing with respect to x. So that comes out to be minus two. So can you just check that? F x x is two. F y y is minus two, right? And uh, what else you have? You have minus, minus two into minus two. It has to be positive, but this is coming out to be negative. This is minus eight, which is less than zero. So you have minus four, minus four, which is minus eight, which is less than zero. So uh, this should have been positive and you have seven one is a saddle point. Is a saddle point. So saddle point is the one which is a stationary point. But uh, when you check second order conditions, you cannot uh, decipher whether it is a point of a max or a min. So it is neither max nor min. So it is not an extremum value, right? Actually, so this is not uh, uh, a complete class on the optimization of more than one variable. Just one example. Because in micro course, we'll be using this a lot. Maybe, I mean, we won't be checking the second order conditions much, but you should know how to solve these for, for these critical points. That is very important for us, right? चलिए थैंक यू बेटा